Brennan and Jen, it happened last night here on Party Street. State police spent hours at this apartment complex behind me investigating, but you can see the scene is now clear just hours after the suspect faced a judge. I kept hearing cops going, going by and woo woo, and then it was like whoop whoop. Mary Beth Stevens says she heard the rush of police cruisers and sirens respond to this apartment complex on Party Street around 9.30 p.m. After police say 37-year-old Eddie Torres stabbed his wife, 40-year-old Jessica Rivera, multiple times. Neighbors say incidents like these almost never happen in the area. Actually kind of shocking, to tell you the truth. I don't know, people are crazy. Torres faced a judge where his bond was increased. There's been no previous charges, no prior record. We're asking to adopt the bail commission's recommendation. This is a very strong case for the state. I'm sorry, three million dollars. I apologize. Uh, Forget it, I'm going in. In a lengthy arrest warrant, police say Torres walked into the Bristol Police Department with dried blood on his hands, admitting he killed his wife. Officers rushed to the apartment and, quote, observed a female sitting on the kitchen floor hunched over, visibly bleeding from multiple areas of her body. The warrant says Rivera was stabbed in her neck, left arm, lower back, and legs. An officer also found a kitchen type knife in the bathroom. It goes on to say Rivera also also dumped out medications out of a brown bag at the police department, some of which were antidepressants and pain relievers. Rivera told police, quote, I wasn't thinking all the medications. She's crazy. I didn't want to do it. I know I did something wrong. Just take me to jail. When asked why he stabbed Rivera, he said his wife attacked him and tried to kill him. He then showed a laceration to his palm to her. Neighbors telling Fox 61 the couple was just dog sitting for for a relative, but it unexpectedly turned into a deadly stabbing. These days you got to keep your doors bolted and everything anyway, so you know. Um, but yeah, it freaks me out and you know. We really don't have any issues over here. It's pretty quiet around here, which is nice. Torres's bond is now set at $3 million and he is expected to appear in court again at the end of this month. I'm live in Bristol, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.